let's take a look at the Chris Reeves Sabenza and some changes that have occurred to that design over the years. Uh, what we've got here are four different examples of Chris Reeves Sabenzas. Uh, we've got a regular down here at the bottom, this being the oldest design among these four. We've got a classic here, Sabenza 21, and then a Sabenza 25 up top. So they rank from oldest to newest going up. Uh, the regular, and I may be incorrect on some of these dates, so if I am, feel free to leave that in the comments and correct me. Uh, the Sabenza regular, I believe, was made from 1996 until 2008. This is a 2006 version. Uh, the classic was released in the year 2000, and it was made alongside the regular until 2008. And then the 21 was released in 2008, and both of these were discontinued at that time. And then the Sabenza 25 was released in 2012. Uh, the Sabenza 25 is no longer made. It was only made for a few years. And uh, it's essentially been replaced by the Incozi. I think that's how you pronounce that name now. All of these knives were available in large and small versions. These are all large versions, uh, with the exception of the 25. It was only available in the large. But the Incozi now comes in both a large and a small version. Uh, there, were, there was a Sabenza before the regular that was just the Sabenza, and then they changed the design, and from what I've never handled one, I've never owned one, but from what I understand, that was very close in design to this classic, and after they released the, the regular, a lot of people like the regular, uh, and still do, even though it's not made anymore, it's a pretty um, sought after item for a lot of people. But uh, a lot of people preferred this design to the regular, so that's why after a few years, Chris Reeve brought this classic out and released it um, so that so the people would have that option to go back to the older design if they if they preferred that. Um, and there are, there are just subtle differences between the 21 and the classic. And I did another video, I'll put a link to that, where I, where I actually compare those two uh, with some of, the, some of the just subtle differences between them. Uh, but there is a pretty big difference if you look at the, the regular and the 25 as, as compared to these two. So we'll just kind of compare and contrast. I'll just kind of talk about them some, some of the differences that I'm aware of. And I'll maybe uh, pull some other versions from off camera here to, to do a little bit of comparisons with smalls or something. Um, but first of all, the regular, um, you can see real obviously this handle is much different than, than any of the others. Um, it has some like uh, scalloping or jimping, I don't know what you want to call this down here, as opposed to this large finger choil on the 21 in the Classic. Um, now I just got this yesterday and I, I haven't, I have a couple other regulars, I haven't owned them for all that long. Um, I gotta say that I, in the large at least, I greatly prefer these to this. I, I don't know, this just, I can see where this design would fit a, a wider variety of hands than this does, but for my hand, I, I greatly prefer these, uh, with the, the 25 being my favorite ergonomically for, for my particular hands. Um, but, yeah, I just, I mean, I even aesthetically, I think I, think I prefer that. Uh, both of these, or I'm sorry, all of these, the 21, the classic, and the regular, all have the pivoting bush it, or... <laughs> bushing pivot in here. Pivot bushing, dang it, I'll get it right here in a second. Pivot bushing in here, which is like a a um, trademark of a, of a Chris Reeves Sabenza. Uh, that's what a lot of people feel really makes that knife. Uh, and I've, I've detailed that in some other videos I show, actually pull it out and show the pivot bushing. Of course you can see that in photos and other videos from other people. Um, but I do like the pivot bushing. I think it's, I think it's a great feature of the knife. Um, the 25 does not have that. That has a, a more standard pivot where there's no bushing there and it just uh, um, has a couple of washers and then as you tighten this pivot screw down, uh, it clamps down on the blade and you can vary how tight or loose the action on the knife is. The Sabenzas, you tighten them down on that bushing though and, and you don't have to worry about anything else. So, yeah, The regular, I don't know. I'm not digging it as much for a user. This is just a collection piece for me, though. I'm not, I'm not going to use this knife. I thought I was going to buy it and maybe use it, but they're just, uh, I just don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, you can see that the blades 
are pretty different. Uh, these two blades are, are very similar between the Classic and the, and the 21. Um, I don't know that there's really much of a difference, if any at all, between those, except for maybe you've got uh, your, your grind here is maybe a little bit different in that area. Uh, but the blade on the regular is more of a, you can see it kind of drops off very sharply right here. It slopes down and then drops off a little more sharply right in there, where this is more of a, a graceful, gradual decline down into the point. Um, and I would say also the belly on it's a little more abruptly radius right in through here. Actually, I would say that uh, the regular blade is a little more similar to the 25. The 25 still slopes down pretty gradually, but I'd say with its belly and stuff, it's a little more similar to the 25, if I had to say. One other difference that you may notice here, maybe a little bit difficult to see, the handle on this regular is kind of uh, convexed. It has a slight arch outwards like into your hand, where on the 21 and the Classic and the 25, all of them, the top portion of that handle is concave. It slopes downwards. Uh, and one thing I had noticed when I was just messing around with some of these knives today, which I found to be kind of interesting. I don't know, you may or may not find this interesting. Well, here's, a, here's an example of a, a small regular and of a small 21. And if you take those and you put those back ends together, they actually mate up. So you'll see there's, you can't see any light between them. So the radius on this that kind of comes outward and the radius on this that goes inward seem to be about the same, the way that they mate up there. And I don't, that's just something that I, I happened to notice. I was just messing around with them. I was like, hey, I noticed those handles are different. I pushed these two together, and yeah. So I, I don't know uh, what at Chris Reeve, they, I guess they did some ergonomic testing or something, and they found that taking that radius in the opposite direction uh, yielded better results. I don't know. It's kind of an interesting side note. But... Yeah, overall, my, my preference is, is for, for these knives over the regular at this point. Um, and some other, this is another, so I had uh, for regulars. These are the three regulars I've got. Uh, this guy down here, this 2006, this is a 2009 limited edition, and uh, this is a 2000 of the same limited edition. This is a large, obviously, and this, this one up here is a small, and these have the... Uh, Tanto style blades on them. Uh, one thing I was a little bit disappointed in when I got this one, um, on these regulars, there are these lines around the outer edge, at least on these older ones, that go all the way from there back to the other end here. This newer one didn't have that, and uh, I, kind of, I like that. I like any kind of little details on a knife uh, that add a little... Um, a uh, little flair to them, just something a little bit different. So I was disappointed to see that the lines weren't on this newer version of the regular, but that's all right. Uh, this regular has S35V steel. This one is a BG42, both of the limited edition regulars I have are BG42 steel, which I guess a lot of people covet that steel too. They, A lot of people really like that, and that seems to kind of uh, demand a premium on the secondary market. Now you also notice here that the fasteners, these are the female sided threads for the uh, handle screws. You'll notice that with the regular and the classic, the heads on these are just solid polished. When they went to the 21, they, they have hex heads on both sides now. So on these, you've got hex heads on the opposite side. And on the 21, they have hex heads on both sides. Same for the 25, it has hex heads on both sides. All of these, the Sabenza regular and 21, they are a titanium lock bar 
that's been hardened, the face of it's been hardened, then engages directly with the blade tang. And a little departure, this is the other big departure on the Sabenza 25, um, other than the uh, lack of a, of a pivot bushing here. This, for its lock bar interface, is not hardened titanium. It actually has a ceramic ball in there. And I, I did another video that's got some photos and stuff that shows that ball, but you can kind of see the, uh, you can kind of see it in there. You're really seeing more of its detent hole there. That, that ceramic ball acts as both the detent and the lock bar interface. So there you can see it coming out of the detent as that lock bar rises up. And then you can also see on the back of the blade tang here where that ball engages, rides right in that area. And of course, you'll notice some differences in that these are plain blades on the 25 and the regular. Um, on the classic, I just didn't have any examples of plain bladed 21, or plain handled, I'm sorry, plain handled 21s and classics um, in large anyway. This is just, uh, this is a, known as a Star Benza, a Wilson Combat Special Edition on this 21, and then these are micarta inlays. Both of these come um, in just the plain titanium handle as well, so that's not a variance in the model. Um, as far as 21 classic and such, that's just a, a different version of that knife. And on this guy, you can also see that it's got the classic MM, MM being for the year 2000 when it was released. I really like that. I think it looks pretty cool. But it's kind of a general look at these knives and some differences in them. Uh, let me pull out, th this is a newer regular and its thumb stud is like the one on the classic. I will pull out this small regular here to show it's this older thumb stud. I have to say that I greatly prefer this older thumb stud to what they put on these knives now. You'll notice that, if I can compare it to this guy, If you notice, the ledges on these are much sharper. These catch your thumb much more easily on this old design. You can see these are these are much more smooth. And I, I prefer this. I really wish they had stuck with this design. I'm not, not sure why they they went away from that. But I prefer it. So all of these are great knives. I think a lot of this just comes down to personal preference, what fits your hand well, what you like aesthetically. Um, but for me, I, for me, my preference for a user, the Sabenza 25 is my favorite. I like the Sabenza 21. It feels good in my hand, but there's something, I have medium sized hands and there's something about this handle on the 25 that just fits me perfectly. Uh, I love that knife. Uh, it feels very solid. The ceramic ball, offers a really unique lockup that I find to be very, very sturdy. Uh, inspires a lot of confidence when I handle that knife. I really like this 25. I, like, I wish that it had the pivot bushing in it. I, I think if it did, this may be one of the most perfect knives that I own. Uh, but without the pivot bushing, it's, it's not a huge deal breaker for me. Um, and the, you know, the 21, the classic, all these, these are nice too, but uh, for a user, this guy I really like. Um, and I have a small 21 that I carry as well. So my, my user, Chris Reeves Sabenzas, are this 25, and then I have a small 21, uh, just a plain version. I don't have it next to me right now, but, so. Yep. I guess that's pretty much all I'm going to ramble about on these knives for now. Just kind of wanted to give a view of them, uh, maybe for some people that hadn't seen them side by side or uh, were kind of curious about some some differences between the different models for what it means when people say a Sabin's a regular, a 21, or a 25, a classic. Um, also, and just as a side note here, uh, this is called the Sabenza 21 because it was released 21 years after the original Sabenza, and then this is a Sabenza 25 because it was released 25 years after the original Sabenza was released. So if you have any comments or questions or whatnot, feel free to leave them below, um, and I'll take a look at them as I get notified. Thanks for watching.